Imagine that your significant other says it's okay for you to go out with your friends on Friday night, but their angry expression and tone of voice tell you it's definitely not okay. Which message should you listen to, their words or their actions? In the case in Ray Sinclair, we explore what language controls when a statute and its legislative history send similarly conflicting messages. The Sinclairs owned a family farm. In 1985, they filed for bankruptcy under Chapter 11 of the Bankruptcy Act of 1978. In 1986, Congress passed the Bankruptcy Judges, United States Trustees, and Family Farmer Bankruptcy Act. That act added Chapter 12, which provided certain benefits to farmers. Accordingly, the Sinclairs sought to convert their bankruptcy from Chapter 11 to Chapter 12. The text of the 1986 Act provided that Chapter 12 didn't apply to cases brought under Chapter 11 prior to Chapter 12's effective date. The Sinclairs, however, relied on the statute's legislative history to argue that conversion was proper. Specifically, they relied on the Conference Committee report providing that courts could convert cases from Chapter 11 to Chapter 12. The bankruptcy court denied the Sinclairs' request. The district court affirmed. The Sinclairs then appealed to the Seventh Circuit. 